Video 29 May 6, 2011 Before answering questions, I have good news. Surprisingly, scientists from the community Galactica, with the aid of large spacecraft from the Krillian community, which I had mentioned some time ago to be doing research on your son, one of the largest spaceships known. With a crew consisting of a society of 80 million people. Decided by an advanced study of a plan to reduce the speed of the Nibiru system in almost 13 months. And then put it in the correct orbit and accelerate it again. The Krillian spacecraft has this possibility because it is 30 times larger than your planet Jupiter and possesses a power tractor to act as a large celestial body. Taking two months to cross the solar system, they may hamper the system Nibiru 13 months until it's passing a beam of the Earth. Eleven months is the maximum period of deceleration, after which it will have to be accelerated again to follow their original route that is Pass on the inside of your solar system as predicted by the cosmos. Possibly not going quite as close to your planet, which will already be suffering. From the magnetic reversal and increased solar activity in the period. It is a preliminary study, but we are happy with this possibility, and we hope that this plan is put into practice. Mithi very good, finally some good news amid such sufferable news. We've also been waiting for some miracle from our alien friends to ease this transition to the new era. God guide your scientists and the Krolians, after all, whether successful or not, you deserve our thanks for trying. Thanks a lot 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 by hope. A friend asks, if aliens have been sharing new development information to humans on Earth, then why are we engaging in projects that will have no impact for us? Why do we continue to fund projects like LHC? You mentioned that humans will not have time to produce a favorable result with the LHC. C. Understand that here on your planet there are two active scientific aspects, the open science, and the science secret. Your NASA for example, there are hundreds of people working for the NASA facade. They really believe they are working seriously with high tech, sending robots with wheels and small cameras working in parallel searches. Exploring planets like Herculobus or Taichi, who actually call it Nibiru and hiding from the public with a large sieve, etc. These are the useful innocents in the system. The ANASA or Inner NASA is the really interesting part, of which the innocent of NASA know virtually nothing about to keep the level of misinformation given to the public at acceptable levels. The ANASA is the one that holds the relationship with the reptilians and their scientists, and is wholly owned and maintained by your elites. NASA owns the relationship with the common public, who pay taxes. All the research out of the planet. In lunar and Martian reptilian bases are highly classified knowledge of the ANASA, of which facade scientists of NASA know nothing. If a NASA scientist becomes inconvenient, he is eliminated, sometimes literally. NASA is still using the old rockets, while at ANASA they fly in reptilian spaceships. C. Your governments cannot stop the scientific community calendar without attracting full attention to themselves. Our friend Larry asks, when can we expect the water pulled by the intruder system to wash over the land? What elevation is safe? Larry, within this new framework, 
I have to check whether the process of deceleration of the Nibiru system will actually happen. If it occurs, we will see where the Earth should be orbiting the Sun in order to predict the influence of Nibiru with your oceans. It may change for the better, so it pays to wait for the new calculations. I will keep you informed whenever possible. Our friend Hodison asks, how long can one stay on a spaceship? Do spaceships have artificial gravity? If not, how does the alien body deal with microgravity? Hodison, our spaceships are too advanced for your concept. All ships currently rely on generators of inertia and gravity generators. Moreover, the atmosphere is maintained within appropriate standards to by our average of the crew. Our navigator is from Sirius, he has adapted a few months before joining our team. The ships have support systems for the life of the crew for long periods, this varies with the use of each type of spacecraft. Our friend Fiona asks, Mythy about the black triangular craft that fly silently and low in the sky. I saw one with red lights on each of its three corners. Are they extraterrestrial in origin or man-made by humans for the military? Fiona, triangular spaceships are common to several breeds, including several models we have made to order by our factories in the colonies. There are some old, abandoned on your moon. Your governments are also testing primitive craft with this format, and we have seen some flying. Secondary spacecraft, used by the community of Camilla Partilis, are all triangular. Some communities of greys from Andromeda also use them. You may have seen any of them. The Arcturian spacecraft are all in the form of large pipes. There are many races and spacecraft circling around here this time. Mithi, Panos asks, when you are born human, like me, does it mean that you are in a lower dimension? or that you don't have much knowledge, or not have so many experiences from your previous incarnations. See Panos, you don't seem to understand the information given above. If you were born human, it means that is what you are. We are all in the third dimension, and we will only temporarily be in the fourth when we are not incarnate. Knowledge and experience gained will be printed in your gene. Have you met people who seem to be very old spirits and others who seem to have spirits with little baggage? This is the gene, more or less loaded with information and previous experience. Totter asks, Mithi, for several years honey bees all over the world have been dying, and they keep dying. Albert Einstein said, If the bees disappear from the surface of the earth, man would have no more than four years to live. Why are the bees dying, and is Einstein right? Well, totter, unless you are feeding on only meat for a few more years until the animals are gone, he's right. We took some species of bees to our colonies and are acclimating them. Bees should be respected on your planet because they are the insects most useful for the ecosystem of human life on Earth. The rampant greed and criminal profit led the elites to produce genetically modified seeds. And absurdly toxic poisons to your ecosystem which are literally wiping out not only bees but hundreds of species of insects, butterflies, and other pollinators. The bees are dying and will become extinct in a short period of time. Only after all the dust settles down from the events generated by this change of era, we, among others, who are acclimating species in their colonies, we can together bring back the bugs that can adapt to this new stage of planet Earth. 
we, on our planet, really respect these insects. We have fruits from various parts of the galaxy. Take fruit juices in our day to day, have fruit wines, and enjoy all kinds of vegetables, all direct dependence of pollination. Apart from this, we have the visual aspect, which includes thousands of species of flowers. That make the planet's environment very nice and colorful. Our friend Zeta Reticuli asks, some races, such as the Verdants, a member of the grey species, have claimed to have met God and found galactic location of his home in a huge spaceship called Heaven. Have your people found God and his ship? I know a race called Verdan but not the region of Virgo, they live in Aldebaran. This story of a creator god who lives in a spaceship, I'm sorry for the frankness, is a legend with no foundation. A creator, responsible for the initial explosion, that conformed our universal reality, could only be in another dimensional plane. Totally different from this what he has created. You can only spot your creation by being outside and taking a broad view of your creation in full. Do not be fooled by this kind of theory, which is unfounded and a total untruth. Our friend Ryan asks, I was just wondering, what is the community Galactica? Is it your government? No, Ryan. Each society has its own government, its laws, its traditions, and its guidelines. Depending on how each society is managed, its members develop faster or slower. Depending on the policy used and the features on the planets where their colonies are installed. The planets with balanced societies, immigrants cannot be received, only staffed in study groups or work. Even though the same breed, there is no possibility of transferring an entire colony to a better planet. Because that would break the stability of the resident original colony. It would be like if all humans on Earth wanted to live in a world of your human race, such as in the Pleiades, fantastic planets they have there. But it would be impossible. What can and is done in these cases is the aid to these colonies to achieve their goals in their own region. Or new planets placed in terms of development. The Community Galactica is a board of societies as a galactic United Nations. There are representatives of all races who live or have business with each other. They keep research laboratories with brilliant scientists from member societies to develop ever more advanced techniques for the benefit of the whole community. The main purpose of the community Galactica is to maintain law, order, harmony, and development of all colonies of intelligent beings within its range. Soon, Earth will also have your representative there. The community Galactica is not really unique, as it is one of thousands of community centers in the universe, each one acting in their regions, but all seek to follow the same standards of conduct in general. They remain in constant contact to keep the integration of all galaxies.